first day second story in the Decameron, Nefile tells the story of a Parisian merchant named Gianotto and his Jewish friend Abraham. Both are good men, but Gianotto worries for the state of Abraham's soul. He does his best to convince his friend to leave the Jewish faith and convert to Christianity so his soul won't be confined to hell upon his death, but Abraham keeps refusing. Finally, Abraham tells Giannotto he will consider converting if he can go to Rome and see the Pope and his cardinals to see how they conduct themselves. Giannotto tries to convince him not to go, but to no avail. Abraham sets off for Rome and stays with his Jewish friends so he can observe the clergy. Abraham observes the Pope, bishops, and cardinals behaving in shameful ways. When he sees enough, Abraham returns to Paris and reunites with his friend. When Giannotto asks Abraham what he saw, Abraham tells him in no uncertain terms the kind of men he thinks the Pope and his brethren are. But he also says despite all their perceived efforts to make Christianity fail due to their sinful natures, the fact it has not speaks well of the religion and he's hmm. going to convert. Giannotto cannot be happier. Abraham is baptized immediately. The second story is another example of poking fun at the religious leaders of the time. Giannotto strives to convince his Jewish friend, Abraham, to convert to Christianity, Catholicism. The problem arises when Abraham thinks about the state of the clergy. Abraham's visit to Rome reveals the corruption rampant in the church during this period, while also tapping once again into the trope of the greedy or lecherous <laughs> clergyman. Boccaccio makes a point of Abraham deciding for himself Christianity must have something going for it. This is an instance of someone thinking for themselves and making their own decision, rather than doing what the clergy tells them to. Boccaccio's treatment of Abraham is a departure from most Jewish representation in literature of the period. Abraham's religion and the character himself is treated with tolerance and respect within the narrative. Considering the prejudice faced by those of the Jewish faith during the Middle Ages, Boccaccio's depiction is quite advanced and remarkable. 